Hello, it is 10 a.m. here in London, in midday in Damascus. I'm Monita Raj, called Westminster Abbey, where the 9 a.m. service has just ended here in London. I'm Zane Fergie. You are watching World One live from London. Also ahead, NATO jets hit Muammar Gaddafi's compound in Tripoli, while people in Misrata say they're still being attacked by Gaddafi's forces. Welcome back to a special edition of World One live from Westminster Abbey, where the bells are tolling here as morning services have just come to an end. Just to give you an idea, a sample of what's to come this Friday. Now, ahead of a week filled with rehearsals for the Friday royal wedding, it was a it was a bonnet set uh, ready for some members of the British royal family, including the Queen. They attended Easter Sunday services at St George's Chapel at Winter Castle. In a busy run-up to their wedding, Prince William and Kate Middleton didn't attend. So we know now how the day is going to unfold down to the minute. Most of the 1,900 guests are going to arrive by 9.45 local time at Westminster Abbey, where Monita is right now. Princes William and Harry will then arrive 30 minutes later from Clarence House. Then at 10.45, the Queen and her husband, Prince Philip, will take their spots. Six minutes later, Kate Middleton will leave her hotel and then nine minutes later at 11 o'clock sharp the big wedding begins at 12.15 the newlyweds procession will then go on to Buckingham Palace then at 1.25 the moment millions will be waiting for the royal couple will kiss on the balcony at the palace then five minutes later William's fellow officers and the Royal Air Force will pay tribute as only they can they're going to have a fly past his fellow airmen will also be guests at the wedding, but they'll have to rush into action immediately afterwards. Well, Zane, rushing definitely won't be part of the pageantry for the horses and the riders escorting the wedding procession. 160 horses in full regalia will be part of the parade through the streets of London. Well, CNN's Max Foster shows us why getting them ready for the big day is actually quite a challenge. Two horses here. On my far left, we've got uh, Catherine. Coming up in just 20 minutes, the making of a princess, we go live to Buckingham Palace for an expert's view of Kate Middleton, her star quality, and how she'll carry the big day. Now, the weather will play an important part on Friday, so let's see if the sun will shine for the happy couple. Let's go to our meteorologist, Ivan Cabrera at the World Weather Center, with details. And Ivan, it's a gorgeous day out here in London. Mm -hmm. Will it extend for the rest of the week, specifically on Friday? Specifically on Friday. That's the important date, right? Uh, it is gorgeous out there. My goodness, uh, you, you're going to be in a T-shirt by uh, later this afternoon. Temperatures in London are going to be in the low 20s once again uh, later today. Uh, it's just uh, unseasonably warm. These are the kind of... This is World One live from uh, London. We are coming to you live from Westminster Abbey specifically all this week as we count down to the royal wedding. More on that in just a moment, but first our top stories this hour. We are hearing reports of a major military operation underway in the Syrian city of Dara. Witnesses say thousands of government troops backed by armored vehicles are breaking into people's homes. Welcome and back to World One live from Westminster Abbey. We're here all week as we count down to what's being dubbed the royal wedding of the century, so far at least, Will and Kate's nuptials. The city of London is getting ready for the eyes of the world. Google has just released some high-tech imagery of central London. Now, despite making you feel just a little bit queasy, it gives you a, a quick lesson in the geography of the city. You're taken on a 3D journey through buildings and trees along the royal procession route. He has said he wants the memory of his mother to be part of his wedding day, and his bride-to-be has more in common with Diana than just her engagement ring. Kate Middleton's role in the public eye reminds many of Diana's rise to worldwide fame. The image of the future Queen of England in the iconic Warhol-esque depiction. A statement perhaps by Tatler magazine on Kate Middleton's place in our pop cultural psyche. So we are just uh, days away from the biggest show in town. Joining us now live from Buckingham Palace is royal biographer and CNN contributor Mark Saunders. Ma Mark, thank you so much for being with us. Of course, just a four days away till the big day. Tell us a little bit about what, what I guess we can all expect in terms of any... We understand that there are not going to be any uh, official appearances by Kate and William at this point, but in terms of how the family will probably be preparing for this big day, can you tell us a little bit about that? I'm sorry, Manita, I, I, I didn't catch that. Could you say it again? Sorry? Sure. There are just four days to go till the big day. How do you think the royal family is preparing for Friday? I think they are as excited as everybody else is. I, I survivor's breakfast at 6 o'clock in the morning. Manita. 
Yeah, I've heard that he's also taken a special interest in uh, everything, the music, the DJing, everything related to the late night party that is expected to go on until 6 a.m. the next morning, Day. Well, interest in the royal wedding is intensifying as the big day gets closer, and there are still some details about it that haven't been made public yet. Max Foster is in London and has some hints on those upcoming announcements. Kate and William were lying low this weekend. There's intense media interest in them, particularly this week. Well, the, cer the ceremony itself will be a, a traditional one in many ways, but it will also blaze a high-tech trail for the future. On the day of the wedding itself, the official wedding website will feature live updates to social media sites like the Monarchy's Flickr, Twitter and Facebook pages. The wedding itself will be streamed on YouTube with live multimedia blogging put together by St. James's Palace. But that's just the tip of the royal iceberg when it comes to wedding-related content on the web. Karen Kafa has a roundup of smartphone apps and sites in cyberspace that will transport you to your very own virtual Westminster Abbey. For watching World One live from London, I'm Zane Vergy. And I'm Monita Rajwal. Thanks for joining us here on CNN.